Helping some of the key instruments on the James Webb telescope were developed by teams led by University of Arizona astronomers. And now researchers at the U of A are developing a new kind of space telescope, one that's even better. 13 News reporter Carson Courier shows us how the Nautilus Space Observatory is breaking barriers with a new design that's truly out of this world. Picture this, a telescope nearly 100 times more sensitive than James Webb. With the ability to see if there's life on other planets in our atmosphere, the catch, the telescope uses lenses instead of mirrors. The current plan is to take uh, 20, 25 years to build a telescope that is only just a slightly larger than James Webb. So we said there must be a better way. And that's how the Nautilus Space Observatory lifted off. Some would call it the future of astronomy. What we found we needed to do is to move away from mirrors and use a new type of optical solution, and those are lenses. We invented a new type of a lens, many of the same capabilities as a mirror, but it turns out to be much easier to fabricate and scale up. By replacing large, heavy mirrors with thin lenses, not only will the telescope be lighter, more affordable, and easier to produce, but it will also be possible to launch many individual units, ultimately creating a more powerful network of telescopes. The idea is to be larger in diameter than the James Webb telescope by a little bit, but to be making many of them to have an array that's much more powerful than uh, the James Webb Space Telescope. With that much power, researchers at the University of Arizona say this telescope could help answer the biggest question of all. I think whether other Earth-sized planets, are they really Earth-like? Can they be habitable? And if once we identify whether they are habitable, could we search for signatures of life? Now, how we, we would not be able to directly see living organisms on another planet, but we could pick up clues that they are inhabited, these words, by analyzing the atmospheric composition. For example, oxygen and other components in the atmospheres that could be clues to life. Within the next few days, researchers will bring the telescope up to Mount Lemmon to test it. Within the next few years, they'll bring it up to the stratosphere in a balloon. Reporting at the University of Arizona, Carson Courier, 13 News. And the lenses used